right side, over the top, looking for Cooks. Grabs. And the Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, hey, dude. Adam Schefter had the news first. Adam, talk about this trade. Did it happen quickly? What did you know about it as the day progressed on Saturday? The Lions' new general manager is Brad Holmes. Brad Holmes, formerly of the Rams' personnel department. He knows Jared Goff very well. And Dan Campbell, the Lions' new head coach, also looked at Goff as somebody they wanted. How badly the city um, wants and needs to win. He wants and needs their football team to win. And, you know, I'm now the quarterback here, and I'm excited to buy that. The field goal's a foot shorter. We're saying, you know, hell yeah, it's, it, you know, here go, here we go, turn it around. Throws the throw, sets the pocket, throws it to the end zone. It is picked off by the Rams. Intercepted by Jalen Ramsey. Going back the other way, right sideline. He's going to run out of bounds at the 23-yard line. We got an interception. Credit the Rams. You cannot allow yourself to go numb. You can't. I'm feeding it. I'm feeding it. I'm feeding it. Everyone is coaching feeding it. All I'm saying is that that optimistic mindset, that belief in each other, that belief that this is our day, that belief that we're going to win, that belief that, hey, man, this isn't the same old thing every every game. That belief will remain and needs to remain. I need, I need someone to allow Jared Goff to allow him to see his potential because I don't think we've seen it yet. I need to see someone that allows him to grow in an offense that's built for him. What if, what if Stafford just said, you know what, I'm done. I've been through this so long. I'm hurting. I'm dealing with injuries. I'm going to retire. He would have never known how good he really was. Some of us may have understood how good he was, but the perception would have never been, we know, we know how good you are. Goff needs that. Goff needs someone that can allow him to grow with together for the next couple of years. Isn't that all seen a ceiling? Like, no, we haven't. We haven't seen Goff's ceiling. I just wanted to make that clear. Stats are not a ceiling. Um, obviously up to Brad and Dan on that. Um, but I'm a fan of Josh's and, and wherever he lands, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be great. Continue to grow with, uh, with JG and, and the rest of his team. And we're gonna get this thing moving. It's, it's easy. It's easy for me, man. Grit is is. There's so many different ways to define grit. Bob comes over to the sidelines to talk to Dan Campbell. Physical grit is one thing, and you need people. You need players that are way, but you'll never have physical grit without mental grit. This is the final shot for the Lions right here. Three things that I think about with Jared Goff. He's tough. He's durable. First victory of the year on the line. Goff's got it. And most importantly, he's a winner. He is one in this league. He knows how to win. Yeah. You know, I've been around for a while now. Not sure if I have much left to prove. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I look at me now, I'm thinking, damn, how proud of me I am. What I did is nothing to sneeze at. Even if your allergies are bad, I'm up in the balcony in France. I look around, I see the fans. How they surround me in the stands. Probably could drown in a sea of hands. I see you. Yelling it out to me, and that's what I mean when I say that one day, some way, somehow, if I get the chance to get a crowd, I flip it around and have a crowd give me the chance. I've done it all, man. But in actuality, I haven't yet. Am I supposed to go from here? Nobody will take advantage of our hospitality. We're going to kick you in the teeth, all right? And when you punch us back, we're going to smile at you. And when you knock us down, we're going to get up. And on the way up, we're going to bite a kneecap off, all right? And we're going to stand up. And then it's going to take two more shots to knock us down. All right, and on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap, and we're going to get up, and then it's going to take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're going to take another hunk out of you. Before, before long, we're they going to be the last one standing. Chains don't mean I've changed a little bit. Brain full of wit, dangerous, can't distinguish this English language when it's lit. And I'm just berating you with dick and shady till I'm 80 to us. Get this crazy, even Drake knows I'm a blow. We are Better get the starving. handkerchief again. So where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, really, I have no idea. Go through Detroit. Stepping up, looking, throwing deep downfield. It is picked up by the Lions. Intercepted. Coming back the other way. Ifatu Malafonwu. This is going to be over. 
Lions are gonna win it. Lions are bringing the NFC North title back to Detroit. I can tell you this, when you're part of an organization, and it's been 30 years, 30 years, yeah. 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 it's been. You know, I so badly want to win a game for this city and win a playoff game for the city that hasn't had one in so long. We had a home playoff game for the first time in so long, and um, that's so much more important than um, anything personally for me. I, I want to be a part of this win and uh, do my job the best of my ability.